don't know. We come up here, we do classes, you know, we go to auditions, whatever we might do. And I don't know why this is so nerve wracking, right? It's really nervous. So anyway, I just want to uh, share something with you guys. And you may have already heard, you may not have, but uh, I'm getting ready to make a pretty big life change for myself here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to make a complete 180, you know, I mean, just totally change things around because uh, well, apparently I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I was shocked to find out myself. I had no idea. But listen, let me tell you what happened. So I was taking a shit the other day. I was taking a shit and all of a sudden I got a fucking boner. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Why am I getting a boner? I was getting a boner. A little more realistic. All right? I didn't know what was going on. So as soon as I was done, you know, I get my laptop out, get on old WebMD, try to figure out what's going on. You guys know about WebMD, right? Scrolling, scrolling through the options, go ahead and put in the symptoms. Okay, column A, shitting. Okay. <laughs> column B, erection. There we go. Put in the data and, you know, the facts don't lie. Came back, said I was gay. <laughs> now look, I... I wasn't ready to accept it, so, you know, I scrolled all the way to the bottom, reading the fine print, see if there were any alternative facts for what I just read, but nothing, you know, so I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> and then uh, a couple hours passed by, and I... Remember that I was watching porn on my phone while I was taking a shit. WebMD uh, <laughs> yeah. didn't ask if I was watching porn while I was taking a shit. There was no column C for watching porn. So, uh, I don't know, too late though, I already updated my Facebook status. And <laughs> gay and single, so. Oh well, we'll see what happens. And uh, speaking of making a 180, does it piss anybody else off? Do you just want to stab someone in the fucking eye when they say they want to make a 360? Yes, I know it does. Come on. <laughs> Your buddy comes up to you and he's like, oh, man. Man, shit just, shit just ain't good, man. You know, I, I seem to make poor decisions. Everything I do is wrong. I, man, I got to make a 360, you know, <laughs> just straighten myself out. That's your buddy. You know, you don't want to beat him down too bad. So you're like, hey, man, don't, don't you mean like, you, you need to make a 180, right? <laughs> no, man, my shit's fucked up, man. 180 is just not enough. I got, man, you gotta go big or go home, right? I gotta do a 360, man. Just get myself back on track. I mean, just try to, you know, he's obviously having a hard time, so you just try to educate him a little. Look, man, look, nah, I know what you're trying to say, but you see, a circle is 360 degrees, so if you actually do a 360, you kind of end up right back where you are right now. Look, man, I, I ain't got no time for geography, man. I just, I gotta get my shit together, man. Just, come on, man, give me a little, give me a little love, you know? About a month goes by and you get a phone call. Yeah, it's your buddy. So you try to be supportive, you know, like, hey, man, yeah. Ah, oh, good to hear from you, buddy. How the, uh... How that uh, 360 go? You make that change yet? Oh man, oh man, no, I, I didn't do the 360. You know, I, I took your advice. Oh, you took my advice, man. That's great. How'd everything work out? Oh man, fuck, man. I, I did a 180, ended up walking backwards into traffic, got hit by a truck. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you.